Cinematic bars. There are three methods to add those. First method is the one which you probably already know. Just go to the effects tab on the top left, go to generators, bring in the solid color layer above all the layers that you have and extend it to the end of the video. And select it, go to inspector, go to settings and in transform drag down the Y option. I'll go with minus 950 and then duplicate this layer, press alt and drag it above. Select that layer, again go to transform Y and drag it upwards. I'll go with plus 950. Hit enter, we have two black bars, cinematic crop is ready. Now this method one works, but I won't really recommend it, it's too much work. So that's why we have method number two. Let's go to the second part of these clips. Now in method number two, just simply go to timeline, go to output blanking, which is the second last option and select the number that you want. Now what are these numbers? I'll explain these later, but for now, let's go ahead with 2.35. And there we have it, two black bars, no layers needed and just three simple clicks. Just go to timeline, output blanking and select any number. Now these numbers are known as frame aspect ratios. And on your screen, you can see the frame aspect ratio and the respective resolutions for your understanding. So whatever number you select, that resolution crop will get applied. Now one important thing to note in the second method is that output blanking gets applied to the whole timeline. So even if I go to any other clips in the timeline, it will still be there. Or for the matter, if I go even to the first method and disable these two solid color layers, it will still be there. So remember that output blanking gets applied to the whole timeline. So that was method number two, output blanking. And finally, let's go to method number three. I'll go to the third part of the clips, go to timeline and then remove the output blanking, simply hit reset. So these are the clips that we have already. Now in third method, what we are going to do is you can simply crop out the canvas itself. No need to add any solid colors or output blanking. Simply crop out the canvas. How to do it? Simply go to the project settings down here on the bottom right or the timeline settings if you have any timeline. So click on that and here in timeline resolution we have 1920 by 1080. So what you have to do is simply take 1920 which is the width of the video. Go to your calculator type 1920 and divide it with whatever frame aspect ratio that you want. So let's say we want 2.35. So 2.35, hit equals to and you get a number 817. Simply add that number as the height of the video. 817, hit save and there we have it. We have cropped the canvas. Now all you have to do is select both of these layers and zoom it in. So it will be somewhere around 1.320. Yeah, so we have zoomed them in. And now if you go full screen with this video, as you can see, it has been cropped. Why? Because there's nothing out there. It's simply blank space as the canvas itself has been cropped. So that was the third method, crop the canvas itself. So these were the three methods guys. Now let's see where we can use these. So let's go back to the first method. We'll go back to the original settings that we had 1920 by 1080. Just select this one, hit save and we'll disable any output blanking that we have. And I'll enable these two layers. Now let's say, I just want first clip to be as it is and I want the cinematic crop for the next clip. So what I'll do is, I'll just select both of these layers, I'll extend them somewhere around here. Here I'll add two keyframes to these layers, just select this layer, add one keyframe here and same with this one. And I'll go to the start of the video and for this, I'll add another keyframe and take it outside and for this one again, I'll take it outside. So when I play the video, it will come in. So from 0 to 950, get it? Now I'll enable this and we can also add a basic transition. Let's go with video transitions and bring in film strip. So I'll bring it in, I'll extend it to this much. So that's how you can add it. Just take this keyframe out here till here. So now what we have done is I'll play this and we can bring in the cinematic crop, which is black bars. So this is the only application that I find useful for method one. Other than that, I won't recommend this method. The second method, output blanking, let's go to timeline and enable the output blanking. So the second method, output blanking is the one that I would recommend the most as it doesn't crop the canvas and because of that, the video stays 1920 by 1080 ratio, which is the most commonly used and accepted ratios around all platforms. If you use the third method, which is canvas cropping, some platforms might not accept that resolution and in some cases the platforms might accept it, but stretch the video to 1920-1080, which will look really bad. So that's where the second method is really useful. It will get accepted on any platform and it won't be stretched. And finally, the third method, which is canvas cropping. 
Now this method is actually useful if the audience is watching your content on some kind of widescreen device like smartphones or widescreen monitors. And also this method saves data as the file size will be smaller as the canvas itself has been cropped. That's where the third method canvas cropping will be useful. So that's it guys. Those were the three methods through which you can add cinematic bars or black bars in DaVinci Resolve and the applications to these methods. Now if you find this video useful, make sure you like this video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also so share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel. I post this DaVinci Resolve tutorials, there's a whole playlist of them on my channel. I post how to tech videos, stream games occasionally and post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. So that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.